Hi, I'm Michael Theo and welcome to this small eagle tutorial on how to create your own parts. On a project I'm currently working at, I needed a part of the DRV8825. Because I couldn't find it, it was time to build it myself. So, to show you how I do it, let's start Eagle. First off, we're going to make a new library by going to File, New, Library. In this library, we see that there are no symbols, packages or devices yet, so let's start making one. The first step is creating a new symbol by pressing the Edit Symbol button in the top menu bar. First, we're gonna draw the pins of the symbol. We press the pin icon in the sidebar and start making our 16 pins. And on the other side as well, by pressing the right mouse button two times, I can rotate the pin. The next step to improve our symbol is by drawing a line around it. In the sidebar, select the draw lines icon. Next, draw a line around the symbol to complete the design. Okay, this is the symbol we created. The next step is to change the names of the pins we just created. This can be done by selecting the name icon in the sidebar and clicking the pins. To finish off our symbol, let's add some labels. First, zoom out and next in the sidebar we choose the draw a text item. In the pop-up we type greater than name to function as a placeholder for the name and press OK. Make sure we will place the name in the names layer. Secondly, we use greater than value all written in capitals and place this label on the values layer. With the names and value label done, the symbol is ready. Next, let's go to the package. In the top menu, select the package item. Once again, we get a pop-up and give it the name. First off, let's start with drawing the outline of the package by selecting the draw lines icon in the sidebar. By keeping our eyes on the coordinates in the top left of the screen, we can draw a box of correctly the right size, which will eventually fit all our pins. Now we will continue to add the pads. Let's zoom in on our package and then in the sidebar select the draw a pad icon. In the top we can select the type of pad, the diameter and the drill. In this case I'll start off with a square pad because this will represent pin 1. The diameter will be set a little bit larger and the drill remains the same. But of course you can choose whatever you like. Let's place the first pad. Okay, this is pad number one and continue with the rest by selecting a round pad and adding all the pads we need. After adding the last pad, it's time to change the names of the pads. In the sidebar, we select the define the name icon. Let's click on the name and type in the names. Once again, we will end by adding 
the labels of the package. We use greater than name as a placeholder for the name on the right layer and we will use greater than a value as a placeholder for the value and once again on the right layer and we place it below to finish it off okay this is the package design all finished off let's combine package and the symbol into one device in the top menu bar click the device icon and the create device pop up will appear type in the name of the device and press ok in this screen we will combine the package and the symbol first let's add a symbol we go to the add symbol in the sidebar and select the symbol we want to add this will add the symbol we just created Next we will connect the right package by pressing new and selecting the package we created. Now let's connect the pins. Connect all the pins by pressing the connect button. As you can see the names will line up and create the right connection. Press OK and you will see a green check mark. Lastly, add a prefix for the device which will be used when you place the symbol in your schematics. Save the drawing. And it's ready for use. Use your custom library by going to library in the top of the screen and select use. There select the library you just created and press the add part on the sidebar of your schematics. Select the part you just created and press OK. Now add the part to your schematics and connect it the way you want. If you switch to the board design by using the icon in the menu bar you will see that your own package is added and ready for use. This is all you need to know to create your own parts. I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial and if you have any questions or suggestions leave a comment down below. Thank you!